<laughs> Not me trying to make an outdoor video filming in a Patagonia. <laughs> I didn't plan that, I swear. So I've lived in Washington a good amount of time now, and to be quite frank with myself, I have done a absolutely terrible job of getting outside, hiking, being in the outdoors, enjoying the PNW, which is so embarrassing because that is the single sole reason I wanted to move here in the first place. Well, you know, school, college, boyfriend, the whole bit, but you get the point. And if you watch my videos, you might also know that I am a huge advocate for enjoying your exercise. It doesn't matter what you do, you can still get a good workout in and you can also enjoy yourself. And to be honest, some of the hardest workouts I've ever done have just been in the great outdoors, baby. So I figured while it's actually enjoyable weather here in Washington for the summer, I thought I'd like to make a little mini series showing you some of the best outdoor adventures on the west side of the mountains, just enjoying ourselves, getting outside, and working out without even realizing it. There's a glare on my glasses. I can't see Shh. Good morning. We're getting ready to go on our first hike of the season. I'm so stinking excited. I haven't been on a hike in what feels like forever. Sorry, I just ripped off a tag. Mom, you're not watching. You didn't see that. We're going to a really popular place called Rattlesnake Ledge. I think that's what it's called. It is supposed to be absolutely gorgeous. I think once you get to the top, you can see this beautiful view of this lake. It's one of those ones that I should have just checked off my bucket list years and years ago, and I never did but I thought it would be kind of a nice, fun introduction to this little series. Plus, it's a dog-friendly hike, and that's something we needed to have made sure we checked off our list, considering we haven't been so lucky in the past. I've got the infamous anti-chafing moisturizer, and you bet your bottom dollar I'm putting that stuff on my arms. Oh yeah. That's the good stuff. We have our shared backpack all packed. We have some bowls of water in here for Reese with some extra water, jackets, snacks, things of that nature. Nothing too wild because this is a really mild hike, but you always want backup just in case. She's preciously waiting, aren't you? You're so ready. And this is specific to Washington, but this is a discovery pass. You buy it at Fred Meyer or any sort of grocery store basically, and it lets you into any of the state parks or any of the wildlife areas. And it's kind of nice because then you don't have to worry about paying when you're going to any of them. I'm pretty spoiled because I get to have Keith carry the backpack and I just take this little tiny carrier. This is probably more of a fashion statement than anything, but it's actually fantastic. And I can probably move it down if I want to use it as a fanny pack as well. But I just have my camera in here. I have an extra verb bar because I'll probably need more caffeine, chapstick, phone, sunglasses, and honestly, some Midol because I need it. Fit check. Mm. Before we embark on our outdoor adventure, I want to thank the company that has fueled this outdoor workout, which is none other than Green Chef. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well, easy and affordable with plans to fit every kind of lifestyle, including vegan, vegetarian, paleo, and keto. Green Chef makes it so easy to eat well and also discover new recipes every single week that you will absolutely love to cook. The recipes are beyond easy to complete because they give you these super, super helpful step-by-step -step instructions that have chef tips and photos to guide you along the entire process. This was our favorite recipe from this week. It was absolutely phenomenal. Keith and I always have so much fun cooking each of the meals together and it truly brings us both together and helps us actually feel like we are becoming green chefs ourselves. If you've ever wanted to try it for yourself, you can go to greenchef.us slash 90 taylor and use my code 90 taylor to get $90 off plus free shipping on your first box. Again, that's greenchef.us slash 90 taylor. Use my code 90 taylor to get $90 off, including free shipping on your first box box. Thank you so much to Green Chef for being a continued sponsor on this channel. I love you all so much. I hope that you check it out. I will leave all of the information in my description box below. Let's get on to this adventure. Oh. 
hopefully it shouldn't take too long to get there. I think whenever I think about going on hikes, I make it such a bigger ordeal than it needs to be, but really this is just a fun way to get outside, see Washington, and I'm so excited to share it all with you because Washington, this is this is what it's all about, man. This is the Washingtonian dream. This is why I wanted to move here, being outside, being in nature, going on hikes, doing all the things that I said I would do on a regular basis. Finally making it happen. <laughs> Tell me you're a quarantine dog without telling me you're a quarantine dog. <laughs> Always good to bring an extra layer. Thank goodness I did because it's cloudy and a little bit chilly. Fanny phone. We're good to go. I'm definitely a little bit of a chicken, so I'm a very goody two shoes when it comes to going on trails. I stay on the trail as you should, as you should, and I'm glad that we have a tall person with me. Scare off the bears and a dog. But I would just say in general, it's always good to make sure that you have a charged phone, uh, download any maps that you need to on your phone before going to any kind of trail, be it very public or not. It's always just good to have precautions, resources. All Trails is a really great app that I like to use. And just try and stay in the populated areas. At least that's what I like to do because like I said, chicken, but also just general outdoor safety. Be smart. <laughs> they're dealing with some potty things, but I'm walking down to see the water. This is my favorite kind of day to go hiking because there's a little bit of a breeze. I can put on a jacket, but obviously I know I'm going to heat up once I start getting my heart rate up or I'm kind of working out and it's going to be so beyond beautiful. Oh, I have to show you this. This is the lake that we are hiking around. If I'm not mistaken, I think we're basically going to be going up to the top and this is just, breathtaking. This is one of my favorite types of views with the mountains and the water. Like I said, this is the kind of thing that makes me so happy that I decided to move up here and enjoy this outdoor beauty. Like this is absolutely stunning. I'm so excited and I don't think it's going to be that strenuous of a hike. It kind of depends on what you prefer, but I usually like to go for maybe four to five miles if it's just kind of something I'm going to do during the day because hikes can be really freaking hard, especially if they're full of switchbacks or it's just completely uphill. So definitely look at it before you're going on a hike too. I'm not like some hiking guide. I don't know why I'm acting like it, but it's good to know things if you're just not a hiker. You always want to make sure that you research the trail that you're doing before you just embark on it. I mean, seriously, this is stunning. I feel like I haven't been outdoors to see something this gorgeous in a really, really long time. And it's so quiet and peaceful. It feels like I'm here all by myself. Speaking of, I need to reach my party again. <laughs> she's so excited. It looks like she's never <laughs> seen water before. She has, but she's a puppy. What can I say? <laughs> All right, baby, let's hit the trails. Woo! This is the whole trail. This thing's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of a luxury. I'm wondering if this is gonna be all uphill. For sure. <laughs> Thank goodness this is kind of in replace of the leg day. We have both already removed our jackets and we're about what, four minutes into the hike? Maybe, obviously. A lot of incline to get to that ledge, but holy guacamole. Reese's loving it. I just keep seeing people running up and down, and I'm out of breath just walking. Did you run this? I don't think so. Maybe running down, but I don't know about going up. Knowing myself, I'd trip and I would fall. We just reached our halfway mark, so that means we're doing good. Halfway mark for going up. 
Yes. <laughs> a quarter of the mark. Well, that's the way I think about it, halfway to the top. Also, there are so many dogs on the trail, which does make me feel a little bit more comforted because sometimes I get nervous just thinking, oh, what if it's not safe? But so, so, so many dogs, so many people, it's well populated and pretty darn good workout. Realizing I might've made a poor decision in my shoe choice. Could have gone with the hiking boots. We were spoiled for a minute, probably about a quarter of a mile. It was pretty flat. And then a quarter of a mile, all uphill. <laughs> So we had to pay. <sighs> my lungs are definitely on fire, but I'm trying to engage my glutes and my thighs. You love it? I love it. <laughs> She's like, I'm not tired yet, guys. We've only gone a mile and a half. Okay, what is this thing? Oh, I think this is the top then. Yeah, look at those people. Oh my gosh. Let's go here. I think right there. I've said this before, but I am scared of heights. <laughs> so I'm kind of freaking out. <laughs> like, no, it was so crowded up there, but not to a point of I don't know, it wasn't bad, but it, it would have been horrible on like a Saturday or a Sunday. But I would say overall, it's a great hike because you kind of just get all of the hard work out of the way with great reward. Anyways, now that we've got to the top, the whole rest of the way is just downhill, which is kind of nice, but also, you know, hopefully we'll get a little bit of a workout still, but that's kind of one of my favorite ways to work out is doing these kind of outdoor hikes and things because you don't realize that you're getting in really good exercise, but it's really, really hard. It's a great way to get outside. So good for you, so beautiful, and it's free and fun. <laughs> While we were sitting up there, there was two killer chipmunks. And by killer, I mean harmless, and Taylor was just a little bit squeamish. I have a weird thing with any small critters. I get very nervous, and it's not very rational. It's definitely irrational, but I have a big, big, big fear of mice and rats. And chipmunks are kind of in that category, but they're a lot cuter, so they don't bother me as much. But I still get nervous, and even with Reese, being around us, like you would think the chipmunk would be scared of a dog, but it wasn't at all. In fact, it wanted our food because it was smart, <laughs> but I was scared. Still so full of energy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so important to do fun things or just incorporate life into your workout routine because it's not all just about barbells and dumbbells, you know, but you're still gonna have a good time and you're probably going to be challenged in a way that you wouldn't have been challenged if you were doing the thing that your body was maybe used to all the time. Now that's not to say that a gym workout is bad because of course it's not, but sometimes it's just nice to change it up. And when you live in a place as beautiful as I think that I do, and I'm sure that you do too, you gotta enjoy the outdoors. Hell yeah. He says hell yeah. <laughs> Let's eat baby. Let's eat. Now, going to the American staple that is taco time. Is taco time just a Washington thing or is it a PNW thing? I think, thing? It's an, I think I'd have to verify this. I'm pretty, I know it's not a Washington thing, only it's a PNW thing. I'm pretty okay. sure. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's in Oregon, maybe it's in Idaho. I'm not sure. I don't think it's in California, or at least it wasn't by me. So I've ne I had never tried this place until we went here one other time. And it is so stinking funny. It's very, very Americanized Mexican food is probably the best way I could describe it. They serve Mexican fries and their tater tots, if that tells you anything. <laughs> You're never good at ordering at fast food places. I'm horrible. Super, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, can't go wrong with a good tater tot. Mm -hmm. Jeez. 
She wants to open it. We just got home from our hike and look what was waiting for me. Ah! I'm nervous. I feel like I've watched so many of these videos of people opening up their play button, but I never thought I would be holding one. What in the heck? Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. We are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement. Thanks, Rick. Thank you, Rick. Wait a minute. Holy flippin' cow. Did they spell everything right? Everything's right. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I don't wanna touch it. We're gonna have to Windex it. <laughs> this is so nice. Oh my gosh. This is like one of the most surreal moments ever because everything on YouTube is so intangible and I've never been able to touch my videos. I know that sounds really weird, but uh, it's just, it's so surreal. I'm so beyond grateful. Thank you so stinking much. I literally never thought that this would happen. Look at this, what in the heck? Oh, that's me. I feel like this mirror should be shining back at you all because you're all really the reason that I got here. That's so beyond cheesy, but it's true. I'm so grateful. This does not, not feel like a real moment whatsoever. I'm seriously in disbelief, but I'm... <sighs> thank you. Like, it's just, <laughs> thank you so much. I'm gonna turn off the camera before I start weeping.